Hey guys, it's American Girl Gymnast here, and today I will be doing an opening video of this package that I just got from American Girl. It feels like I ordered this like forever ago, and I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So, let's get started. I already took the tape off, and as you can see, I bought a couple of items. So, a lot of these items were on sale for the May Spring Sale, which also, during that time, there's $5.95 shipping. So a lot of these items I got on sale and one of the first sale items I got was this Truly Me Mix and Match set. It was originally $75 but I got on sale for $27. So the first item from this on top is this dress. It's a little top to come out. So this is the blue sea dress. Here's the back. It's really cute. It has some sparkly sequins on it. Sorry, this is out of focus. These aren't sequins. This is glitter. It looks like a nice dress. I bought this with my McKenna Della Mind, and I might not put it on her in this video today, but be sure to check out my AGIG. I'll put it down here, and I really hope to take pictures of her in it soon. And obviously, those photos are going to be uploaded to AGIG. So up next in the mix and match set is the mermaid tee. And this is really cute. It has a little mermaid on it listening to music with her headphones and some coral glasses. I haven't really had that much experience with the new packaging, so sorry I'm kind of struggling with it. But anyways, this t-shirt is really cute, and I think it's going to go good on all of my dolls, and I really can't wait to try it on them. So the next item in the Mix and Match set is the sea glass tank. So this is a really cute ruffled tank top and I think it's going to go really good with the next item I'm going to open. So this is the seashore striped skirt, that's a little bit of a mouthful and whenever I get out of the package you're going to see how long it is and I think it's going to really go good with the last item I showed you. So I really like the skirt, it's so long, it's so cute and there's a little slit right here which I think is going to really look good on the doll. So the second to last item is the School of Fish tee. As soon as I saw this online, I became low-key obsessed, and I think this is going to look really good on my Felicity doll, so let's get opening. So I think this looks as good in person as it did online, and if you can't tell, the fish are sparkly, which is really cute. And I think all the colors really go well together, so I can't wait to see this on my Felicity doll. So the final item of the mix and match set is this sea breeze top and I think this would also go good with the long skirt that I showed you a few items earlier. So this shirt is kind of made of an interesting material. I can't really tell what it's made out of, but it's not really made out of like a cotton t-shirt material like some of the past items were. But anyways, it is ruffled on the front and on the back. And I also really like these silver stripes that run down the front. I also think this will be another good item that will go with the striped skirt from earlier. So that's all from the mix and match. And now I'm going to open up another item that I kind of bought to go with some of the mix and match outfits. So these are the teal sneakers and this is what they look like. I'm going to show you um, them out of the box in a minute. But I bought these to go with some of the mix and match outfits because... I don't really have that many blue shoes and it only comes with one pair of shoes and I just realized I didn't show you the pair of shoes from the mix and match outfit. I guess I'll do that really quickly. So these are the sandals from the mix and match collection I bought and I just showed you guys. And so let's open them up. I ended up having to rip the box kind of open and I did that off camera. And inside that box were these sandals that come with the mix and match outfit. And I'm not sure how good they're going to go with some of the other items, like the t-shirts, but I think with the ruffled tank and the very long skirt and whatever else I decide to pair the very long skirt with, I think it will go good with that. And I just realized my hand just kind of like slowly drifted off camera. Whee! So finally, back to the teal sneakers. Just a little recap. They were not on sale. I paid $10 for them. And I bought them because I have so many new blue items that came with the mix and match set. And that only came with one pair of shoes, so I bought another. So you just saw me rip open that box, and inside that box were these sneakers. I'm just gonna hold one shoe for ease, and they are very soft on the inside. Here's the bottom, they have a nice sole, 
These remind me of the running shoes I have upstairs that came with the old running set from, it was an Inner Star U running set. But anyways, I'll probably end up pairing these with an outfit from the mix and match set I just bought. Now, before we get to the boxes down below out of focus, I still have one more item that I need to open. And I was going to start off with this item, but I didn't want you guys to get bored and leave. But it's a camera that was on sale, and I kind of lost my old doll camera, so I just bought a new one. So it came wrapped in this really big wad of plastic, so this much plastic for this little camera. So I'm pretty sure this camera came from a Leo Clark accessories set, and I really like the coloring. And here is the back, and now I'm going to put it on a doll for size comparison. So this is my doll Felicity, she's ironically in another Leo Clark outfit that I opened up in another haul video. And you can find that on my channel. I believe it's under a hauls playlist. If not, it's very easy to find. It's called Small AG Haul, I think. But anyways, I think this camera is the perfect size for dolls. And I think it just looks good. So now I have these three boxes left. And I'm not really sure which one I want to open up first. I think I might open up this box because I think I'm the most excited for it. So this is the Camp AG Essentials and it has everything shown here, a tie-dye shirt and just a whole bunch of other camp stuff. And here's the tie-dye shirt, oh my gosh guys, it is so cute, like I really cannot wait to put this on a doll because like it's so cute, it has a little tie at the bottom and I am just so glad I got this. So anyways, on to the rest of the accessories in the set. There are these two friendship bracelets, I guess you could say, or cord bracelets. And these are so cute. I cannot wait to put them on a doll. They're just so rainbow and wonderful, I guess, is a way you could describe it. And I bet they'll go really good with the tie-dye shirt. So next up is this flashlight that the doll can hold. Oh, there's the handle. You can't really see it because it's clear. So it's a cute purple American Girl flashlight. And there's a fake little switch there. And they can hold it with this handle here. There's also this Camp AG keychain. I don't have any backpacks or anything to put this on. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. So here it is out of the package. As you can see, there's a little clip to clip it on to a backpack if you wanted to. And also, I didn't notice this before, and I guess I didn't see it in the description online. It's also a compass, or I guess you could say it is a compass. And here are some more close-up detail on the compass. I tried to focus it the best I could, and I know you can't really see it, but here it is. Next up is this little map of Camp AG. So here's a little map of Camp AG, it has all the activities on it and where it is. And on the other side, there's a little scavenger hunt. Up next are the postcards, and I believe it comes with a couple different postcards. So there's a summer camp postcard that was on top. My hand's kind of sliding out of frame, I'll try and keep it as still as possible. I'm not really the best at doing that. There's an explore postcard and a campfire postcard where there's also some marshmallow roasting going on. And on the back, they all look the same. It's just a blank postcard where your doll can write a message. Also, there's a little pencil that comes with this. And this is pretty much your standard American Girl pencil. Here's a frame that you can display some postcards in. So I put a postcard in here so you guys can see what it looks like whenever there's a postcard in the frame. And it was a little tight to get in, it was a little tough. So it might be tough at first, but don't give up, you'll eventually get it. And finally for this set, there's some cute stickers to decorate the frame with. I forgot to mention what I got this set for, but I believe I got it for $25. So up next is this outfit that I'm also very excited to be getting. It's the Explore the Outdoors outfit. And I just love the pictures of it that I saw online. So I'm really glad that I have it now. This was not on sale and it was $28. You know, I'm really tired of these sticker dots, so I just kind of ripped into this package. I know American Girl has good intentions, you know, to prevent shoplifting and people from stealing the outfits out of their boxes in stores, but 
it's really hard to open. I'm kind of tired of opening them. So I'll just open the ripped box. So first out of the box is the jacket. It has a nice big hood and it's this dark green color. It has some patches and one of them, the heart says heart camping on it, which I think is really cute because I heart camping too. So up next is the shirt. I love the pattern in the blue and white. I love the blue and how it goes so good with the white. And it's kind of, I guess you could say, flared at the bottom. I'm not a fashionista at all. So if that's wrong, just disregard that. And the shorts are a nice coral color. It looks kind of orange on my camera right now. But trust me, I believe they are coral, a darker coral. And they are also flared at the bottom, which is cute. It really adds the campy, outdoorsy vibe. And finally for this outfit are these strappy sandals, which are the same color as the shorts. I can't wait to try that outfit on my dolls, but up next, finally, is the Star Spangled Fan Gear. And it says on the box that it's Special Edition Star Spangled Fan Gear. And you know what, I think I might rip this box open too. And ta-da, I ripped it. So one of the cutest thing about this outfit is its accessories, and here's one of them. It's this blue knit beanie hat. I guess you could call it a beanie. It's kind of thin, but it looks really cute. So next up in the box is this blue and white baseball style t-shirt. It's long sleeved and it has a nice star decal in the middle that's very America. And I'm not surprised because this kind of is an American outfit. So you saw the blue and the white in the last item, and now the next part of this outfit is red. These red pants, they're kind of almost like a jean material, but not exactly, and they've got two little pockets in the back. And finally for shoes, there are these cute silver shoes that are flat on the bottom. And so here's the second accessory I was referencing whenever I first was telling you guys about the accessories with the hat earlier are these sunglasses. They are really cute. They looked so cute in the photos online and I can't wait to try them on at all. Here they are out of the package and I'm gonna go try them on my doll page. Here are the glasses on my doll page and ignore her hair, I have to brush it. But anyways, they do look a little lopsided but I don't think that's because of the glasses themselves. I think that might be because of the way I put them on. But I think they do look good and I really can't wait to use them in upcoming videos and photo shoots. So now that I have everything out, I think I'm going to go dress some of my dolls and I'll show you what they look like. Alright, so it's a little while later and now I'm up in my doll room and since then, I have dressed some of my dolls. So this doll right here, Emma, she is wearing the shirt, skirt, and sandals from the mix and match combo I got. Here's a little pan for her. And Willow right next to her is wearing the jacket from, I think it was the outdoor adventure outfit. And she is wearing just some pants that she had on before. And over there in the back, Sophia in the red dress, who's out of focus, is wearing the sunglasses from the Star Spangled outfit that Katie is now wearing. I would have to say one of my favorite outfits belongs to Paige, who's right here in the center. She's wearing a shirt from the mix and match combo I got along with the white capris from, I believe, the AGP, one of the old AGP outfits, and some shoes from an old camping outfit. I put the camera on Felicity right here because it kind of matches her outfit. And finally, Skylar, who doesn't really have the best hair right now, is wearing the shirt and shorts from the Outdoor Adventure outfit, which also goes with the jacket that Willow was wearing. Also, I have a few of the extra items over here that the dolls aren't wearing yet, but they will be soon. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the new things that I got today. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment because I love reading your comments and I'll try to reply. And if you want to see more from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to see all of these outfits out and about, be sure to follow my AGIG. I plugged it earlier in the video. But if you missed it, you can find it in my YouTube links. Or you can just go back and see it. It's at Adult Pick and Video Network, and it's all separated by underscores. Thanks for watching. Bye!